So you say you like comic books? Hmm, I do, Batman. That's right! <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> Get your scotch tape ready um. to be bagged and backboard at this year's Astronomicon 3 because I tell you what, we're getting ready to bring in a lot of cool talent this year mm -hmm. that I feel needs a... It needs one of them, one of them, one of them hot brass 70s intros. Like I'm talking bringing them in with class and brass. Like, oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, coming in from deep within the sewers. <laughs> they have one of those. I wonder if Do you have one of those? Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to announce a special guest of Kevin Eastman to this year's Astronomicon 3. Yes. That's right, one half of the co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael, Tonatella, Leonardo, and Raphael. Featured <laughs> <on> Netflix. <laughs> I forgot Michelangelo! Yes, yes, he didn't say I said him twice. I just want to see if y'all were listening. All of them. I Shredder, was. Rocksteady, Bebop. All of them. All of them. He is one of the greats. He is an actual living legend on two feet, walking around with a sharpie in his hands, doodling turtles, and 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 tagging everything like a featured on a Netflix documentary, The Toys That Made Us. Uh, I tell you, when he I also did a cover for your guys for comeback. Haunted High Ons yeah. for for Powers of Ten and and, and uh, House of X. Mm -hmm. Like he, Kevin Eastman has remained prevalent inside of the comic book world for for years now. And now with, uh, I want to say it's IDW picking up the Turtles title and them adding a girl turtle to the mix. Mm -hmm. And it's cool because now he's being asked when you were, they talked about doing that in the past and they scrapped the idea. Like, how do you feel about it now? It's like, I don't think the world would have been, I'm glad that it, it all played out the way it was supposed to. I don't think the world was ready for that how it is now. Yeah. Like, Jenica is one of the uh, the biggest new turtles on the scene. I don't know if you follow the storyline. If you don't, you need to brush up. Because I'm telling you, this man, Mr. Eastman, will be at Astronomicon 3 this year. Saturday and Sunday only. Mm -hmm. Also, VIP packages available, and that is your only way to guarantee that you can get a autograph from Mr. Eastman. The VIP comes with two autographs and an 11 by 17 poster with a special Kevin Eastman pass. Nice. A member of Team Eastman uh, will be there. Yes. If you want your book CGC graded. Yeah, no, CGC certified. The that says graded. It does. It does say graded. I just, but hold on. See, you don't. Please, man. Maybe I don't know. You tell me. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to, this is, this is what we do here. We educate each other. We do. When it comes to, I don't know anything about comics. That's I'll fine. You, no, no, no. I, I don't know everything about comics. I'm learning, but as I go, this is this is this is why this is important. Again, we just want to help everybody out with it. CGC is a grading is a third party grading service that solidifies books, and when they are actual real autographs, they give them a yellow tab because they were witnessed, mm -hmm. sign, signature witnessed by a person that is in their camp that witnesses for them. If okay. you don't have verification witness, they will slab your signature Kevin Eastman book, but not give it a yellow signature series. Oh, okay. So that means that it'll just be a graded book that'll say marker on cover. Yeah. Totally disregarding that it's Kevin Eastman's marker on oh. said cover, but the fact that Kevin rolls with a guy that's CGC and witnesses and verifies, if you want to have that, we got you. Oh. But Very good. here's an upside. We also have CBCS we do. will be on site. CBCS will be in house and uh, and on site to do that for you. And again, they are another third party grading system mm -hmm. that takes books and uh, and evaluates them on their qualities. Whether the pages are white or off white to cream, whether the book is a 9.8 or a 10, it's perfect gem mint, or if it's a 5.6. Those are the people who do that kind of stuff. So if you've heard of Slabbed or Comics, that's why that information is so important because uh, the fact that Kevin rolls with somebody from CGC mm -hmm. is just amazing. They're, they're both, both CGC 
and CBS are both grading parties, but people have preferences. Yeah. So I like, I like me as a customer, I like the idea that I have a preference. A cho choices, you know, options rule. And if there's anything else you need to learn, we will have our own Mr. Astronomicon's Ming Chen there. What's up, my friends? And uh, February 7th through the... Or you might know me... Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ming Chen from EMC's Comic Book Men. I am returning to Astronomicon 3, February 7th through the 9th, 2020. I cannot wait to be back. Uh, I guess this is the official announcement, and uh, I, <laughs> I can't wait. One of my favorite conventions of all time, my friends, my Michigan natives, uh, my comic, comic book fans, my pop culture fans, my magic ninjas, my horror fans. You're, you have no idea what you're in for. Get down to the uh, the Wyndham Garden uh, in Sterling Heights and experience something that you uh, that, that's, a, that's magic, this wonder that uh, you have not experienced before. I will see you guys there. Astronomicon 3. Speaking of third year veterans. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, Dirk Manning is going to be there. Uh, that's the writer of Haunted High on Absolutely. Press. Also going to be there. Going to um, be on hand. Um, now, I, I don't want to. Uh, I know I'm I'm, I'm loosely uh, engaged to say certain things today, but I'm going to slip up and tell a little something that there will be a panel. Yes, there is um, a Haunted High panel. I don't know if I'm allowed to panel. say that or not. There's a Haunted High panel. You can say whatever you want. It's your combo. Don't you do that to me. Come see me, Paul Dirk, and, and, and let's let's talk Haunted High Ons. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, stop by and see Dirk Manning. Uh, wonderful dude. Um, he, he, he'll he scribble on your book and, and tell you about all the other books that he's put out. And, and He's got a lot of stuff, though. And ask you why hope. you haven't been reading them. That's because, right. um, what, Hope? Hope. Oh, Mr. Right. Ree. Oh, yeah. um, Absolutely. So, like, there's just two, including Haunted High Ons. That's three. Um, I'm sure they'll all be available at his booth. So stop by his booth and uh, and and maybe experience something interesting and new. But definitely stop by the Haunted High Ons panel because that's going to be great. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Astronomic Conversations. I am Dustin, your Astronomicon champ. And I'm Jimmy Madrox, the guy in the sidecar. <laughs> 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 no. Thanks. Uh, Take care. I'll uh, see you at Astronomicon Wyndham Gardens. February 7th, 8th, and 9th. That's Astronomicon 3, and we'll see you there. Peace.